As you mentioned earlier, businesses in Hong Kong are facing growing pressure to actually pick a side over the ongoing political turmoil. Today, HSBC, Standard Chartered Bank and the Bank of East Asia condemned violence in the city. Hong Kong's largest property developers recently condemned the anti-government protests as well. And for more on this, Andrew Leung, an international and independent China strategist, joins us live from Hong Kong right now. Andrew, can we expect more companies to actually really now pick a side? Well, this is a make-or-break uh, moment in Hong Kong uh, as the uh, anti-government uh, protests show no sign of um, receding. Uh, at least uh, there is a temporary lull uh, in the kind of violent protests, but then the, um, um, the anti-government protests, uh, the so-called uh, using non-violent means uh, uh, that shows no sign of uh, letting up. Uh, and even the chief executive's offer of an olive branch uh, is not being accepted. So I think that the market is being rattled. And of course, as I said, it's a break and uh, make a break moment. Uh, Beijing is already prepared for the worst. Uh, the, uh, there is um, a military kind of deployments um, and preparing for um, uh, the situation at the eventuality uh, that Hong Kong should burn. Uh, of course, the Beijing cannot just sit tight on its hands. And so this is a very, very delicate moment. And there is no not surprising that businesses are expected by Beijing to take a firm stand. You mentioned that the market's being rattled. It's also almost three months of protest. Question is, what's been the impact on the business and financial sector, though? Well, if you look at the latest forecast, I mean, uh, according to the financial secretary, uh, the economy is, um, is, is slowing quite rapidly. Uh, the prediction is that it can slow to 0% growth. And then, of course, the, the uh, retail market, uh, the property market, um, and of course, the, the stock market and everything is taking a battering uh, because um, business can, simply cannot survive in, in a situation when the whole thing, when the whole um, Hong Kong is uh, descending into anarchy. So I think that for Beijing and for Hong Kong government, the first thing is to restore uh, law and order. Um, but then on the other hand, that the so-called um, um, the anti-extradition um, um, bill uh, movement shows no sign of um, um, abating. All right, but saying all that, though, the Hun Seng continues to be under pressure, but it seems to have picked up from its lowest point yesterday, as we saw last week. Do you actually see this as perhaps maybe a sign of rebound in market confidence? Well, it's not so much confidence as a kind of... Uh, um, a correction uh, because the, uh, it's the first time uh, when the first weekend um, has not seen um, uh, a kind of tear gas uh, being deployed. So uh, the hope is that this is going to be a turning point. But if we look at the pro-democracy um, um, camp and then the anti-extradition um, bill movement, um, they are not accepting the olive branch uh, held out by um, the chief executive Carrie Lam uh, and every sign uh, that they're going to up the ante. Now the question is the whether or not uh, that the militant uh, side of the campaign uh, is going to uh, double up uh, on causing major mayhem in Hong Kong. Because uh, Hong Kong is a city of protest, so if the protests are peaceful, it's not, uh, unlikely to uh, rattle the market um, that much. But if, the, uh, um, if there's signs of anarchy, a total lack of control, then of course uh, there are consequences uh, that Beijing may do something drastic. And that would, is, is, is a real uh, concern. Uh, that is not going to restore market confidence completely. All right, the markets here, yeah, operating income among the 50 stocks on the benchmark hunting actually dropped 19% on average this quarter. Do you agree that this is the biggest contraction since the 2008 global financial crisis? Well, this is, of course, uh, for all to see uh, if you look at the numbers. Uh, but then that may not be the, the worst scenario. That's the worrying point. Because if the, uh, for example, if in the ex extre extremists, uh, when Hong Kong is descending into chaos and the whole thing has become, um, um, and as I said, I mean, the whole city is burning. Uh, and then the, um, the Beijing is sending into the People's Liberation Army. That would be the destruction of one country, two systems. And even though it is going to be practiced, it's no longer the former self, and there will be international sanctions. And so uh, this is really Armageddon uh, for Hong Kong. So I think that the, um, the worst is not over yet.
saying that if the worst is not over, is the city then still a safe place for foreign investors to park their money? Well, at the moment, there are a lot of uncertainties. For example, um, if the stock market takes a, a, a severe battering, uh, and then there are rumors that the international speculators are already taking, taking positions. Um, because if the, um, the anti-government um, um, camp uh, is no longer about the extradition bill, it's directly uh, targeting um, Beijing's authority, is targeting um, uh, the, the legitimacy uh, of the, the communist regime. And so the, uh, Beijing is, is, is extremely worried that this could be, these are the, the hallmarks of a color revolution. So it's very, very serious. Um, and then the, uh, unless that the, um, the, the Hong Kong government manages um, completely to reverse the, the situation and, and also to um, uh, deal with this kind of militant uh, camp who really um, uh, adopts a no-host-bar kind of attitude uh, towards rattling the, well, not only rattling, but re really um, uh, trying to topple the, 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 the governance of the current government. And that would be a very serious situation. So I think that we are not seeing the worst yet, uh, but then the temporary lull um, in the uh, kind of violent uh, kind of protests. As I said, this is the first time in, in, in 11 weeks where we, we haven't seen uh, the deployment of tear gas for one weekend. But that doesn't mean that this is the really the beginning, either the beginning of something better or the beginning of the end. Right, indeed, and we are hearing that there'll be more protests coming up this weekend. Always very good to speak to you, Andrew Leung, an international and independent China Thank strategist you. in Hong Kong.